Dear friends, welcome to another review. Today we are reviewing this little solar panel. We bought this solar panel, solar panel a few days ago from this eBay listing. It says that it is a three and a half watt solar panel, and we bought it for about nine dollars. For nine dollars, I really doubt that this is three and a half watt. But let's try it. Uh, this solar panel is about 16 by 12 centimeters long and wide and it came with a USB cable attached to the back. In the listing it says that it can charge your solar, uh, your uh, cell phone or your tablet via, via, via this USB. The problem is that in order to charge a device the USB output the voltage here must be exactly 5 volts. In order to achieve that, this solar panel must have some kind of circuit inside here in order to achieve a stable 5 volt output. If I plug it now inside the house with no real sunlight, as you can see there is no output in the USB it's very low voltage so it's unusable inside this little hmm, toy can help us measure voltage current charge and other stuff you can see a review from for this in our other video now let's go outside in the, in the direct sunlight and measure the output of this little solar panel as you can see, we are outside in the direct sunlight. We are located in South Greece, so the sunlight is strong. It is summer, and it is, it is the strongest sunlight we can achieve in this region of the world. You can imagine that it is a pretty strong sunshine here in Greece. Let's see what it is the output of the solar panel open circuit. I have this little USB doctor. And it says now that the voltage is 5.84 volts. Of course, it is open circuit. And as you can see, this solar panel does not achieve stable 5 volt output. Now the output is over 5 volts. Many USB devices won't charge with this voltage. Let's attach my cell phone here to see what happens. I just attached my cell phone here, as you can see it is charging, the voltage has dropped, it is now 4.27 volts, the amperage is uh, 0 0.5 amps, the power is 0 0.3 volts, so what does, what does this tell us? that this solar panel is not three and a half watts it's only at maximum let's say half a watt as you can see 4.27 volts 0.3 watts and the charge is one million power yes this solar panel charges the cell phone but uh, at this low amperage it, it will take weeks to charge your cell phone so this solar panel is not three and a half but it does not contain I'm sure nothing in here to keep the voltage stable and of course it's a fake We are back in. I'll now try to disassemble the box here in order to be sure that there is nothing in there. Let's see. It's glued, but I'll manage <laughs> to disassemble it. Okay, I did it. I disassembled it and all I found is this glue. There is no circuit here. The only positive thing is that there is, there is a small diode here, you can see it here, in order to prevent the 
current to flow the opposite direction when there is no sunlight. So, there is nothing in here. It is just, I think, a small 1 watt solar panel with no circuit and uh, just a USB attached. So, in order to charge your cell phone, it's useless. Don't buy it. Thank you very much for watching this video.